So the lag was pretty bad. So I try number two. Here we go. We're going to create a histogram um, using the spreadsheet that I shared with you called Triathlon Histogram Practice. Okay. Um, and here are the steps. And we'll kind of go through them one at a time. The first thing we're going to do is create the bin width. A good way to estimate that is to find the range and divide by 8. Okay, so let's go look at that real quick. Alright, so this is actually the histogram that we're trying to make. Um, just so you can be clear about what our goal is. Remember that to create a histogram, the first thing you have to do is create this list of frequency and bins. So in order to create these bin, this bin width between, uh, and I decided on three, and now I'm going to show you how I decided that. Um, I found the range of the data by taking the, finding the min, and the max here, and then subtracting those two. And I found the range to be 21.6. Now, a good estimate is always to divide that number by 8, and I get 2.7. 20, 20, but that's just my estimate. I decided that 3 is a nice number to work with, and it's very close to 2.7, so I decided to have a bin width of 3. So, I create my bins by starting below the min, going above the max, and going up by 3. So you can see I started at 14, which is below the min, and I went up by 3 each time with these bins. Remember that I can do that by saying 14, 17, and then selecting them, dragging that corner down, and it'll fill in those data, that, that data really quickly. Now, so we've gotten the, we've set up the bins and we've created the bin list. So now we have to count each number in each bin. So we're going to use count if and we're going to use dollar signs so that when we pull it down, um, when we pull it down, it will sh stay in the same set of data all the time. It won't shift down. And we're going to use this commands, so quotation mark less than 14 um, quotation mark. Now this will give us our first bin, will this. Now we're, then we're going to pull that down and we're going to start making alterations to it um, because uh, the next command would be count if b2, b25 is less than 17 and then less than 20, less than 23. You see how it moves up each time. But we want to subtract the previous count each time, and we're going to do that by saying minus sum, and then d2, d dollar sign 2 because that's the first one, and then d3, it'll just be the one previous, and we'll see how that works later. So now we're going to work on this section, the count if command. So let's go back to that spreadsheet, and um, I'm going to I'm going to show you how I constructed all this stuff. So, uh, let's delete this. Okay, equals count if. Select that. And then I'm going to say I want this set of data. Okay, and because I want it all to be the same, I'm going to put dollar signs in front of everything so that when I drag it places, um, it'll stay the same. Okay. Then I'm going to say comma is less than 14. And then in quotation marks, end that. So, and that's good. There's no values that are less than 14. So I'm going to drag this down, okay, and check it. You can see that it is referencing the same set of data. 
But in this bin, I want to say, instead of saying less than 14, I want to say less than 17. Enter. Um, now I'm going to drag that down one more time. Now, this one still, in this bin, I want to count if it's less than 20. So I'm going to say it's less than 20. But that includes the ones that are also less than 17, because that's also less than 20. So I'm going to subtract the sum of all the ones above it. So I'll say sum of this and that. But I'm going to add one thing, and that means that I'm going to want it to always start at D2, and then it can go down to the one just above it. So I'm using a fixed reference cell and a relative reference cell. And I hit enter. So uh, what this says is it's subtracting the ones that are less than 17. Now I can drag this down. Now I can drag this down. And that's OK. It's, now it's all 0 because it's subtracting the one before. So you'll notice that this one subtracts all of these. Uh, it subtracts all of these. OK. Hey, Peter. OK. Now what I have to do is go back in and um, change them all so that they rel so they so that this one counts how many are less than 23 and then subtracts all the ones above. This one counts how many are less than 26. This one counts how many are less than 29 and 32. Five. Oh, something must be wrong here. Less than twenty-nine. Oh, two hundred and twenty-six. There we go. Okay. Thirty-two. Good. Thirty-five. Good. And thirty-eight. All right, so now we have our list of frequencies and bins. And so all we have to do is highlight both, click chart. Then we're going down here to column chart. And then I'm going to use column C as labels. Now you can see I've got my nice little histogram. And I can customize it, change it to ducky dash data. Um, and I can change my horizontal axis to seconds, and my vertical axis to um, num uh, frequency. In other words, how many different data points there are. Anyway, and there we've created our histogram. I hope this is helpful.